This is a drawing of the first two rings of a typical bowl with a floating uh, bottom sketched in. There's a couple things to consider in a floating uh, bottom design. One is you want an adequate glue area out here because that's the only place from that floating ring out is the only place that gets glue. Uh, I use a half inch as my target that allows me some room to turn. Uh, so if you have an 8 inch diameter base ring, go with a 7 inch uh, disc, floating disc in there. Uh, and then the ring has to be wide enough to house, house the floating ring. The other consideration is the second ring has to cover this, and I shoot for a quarter of an inch. Um, so if it's a seven inch disc, six and a half inch ID, and then whatever the OD is will give you the thickness of the ring. So those are a couple things to consider in the design. Um, of a floating bottom. <clears throat> so this will be the base ring for the triangulation bowl. So the laser etching is complete and I put the had the laser draw a circle. I want a seven inch disc. It came out to about 6.9 so I'm going to try to cut just outside the circle. So the disc is cut out, and one point I want to make is you do not have to have a perfect circle for the floating uh, bottom. You're going to want a little bit of space, maybe a sixteenth of an inch between the OD of this and the ID of the uh, base ring, which I'll show when I get to that. But I am going to disc sand this now, just to round, it, round a couple of the bumps off. I am going to go ahead and apply finish to this. There's a couple of, the main reason for applying the finish now is so that it doesn't gum up the floating bottom. So it is time to make this a floating bottom. And I am going to just use this as a kind of template to get close. So I'm going to start off using my square carbide, uh, but before I come out to that circle, I am just going to round this all the way in because that will be finish the bottom from the bottom side. And I can actually put a little bit of finish in here. Okay, so like I said, that'll be the bottom uh, where it's already turned in there. So when I'm when I cut this off, it'll be done on the bottom, other than the very bottom. So now I'm going to start working the circle. So I had marked this circle, but the idea is really to sneak up on it. Okay, that is just about perfect. I've got about a sixteenth of an inch clearance all the way around. So the diameter is perfect now and it actually happens to be right on my weight mark, um, which is just ac accidental because I came inside. So it needs to be just a hair deeper. I cut a scrap piece of wood the same diameter as the circle or a little bit smaller. And it's just so I can check that the hole I'm cutting is flat and it's not. I need to get a little more on the outside. So I'm gonna go a little deeper and a little more on the outside. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna check the flatness. If it's not flat, you won't get a good glue surface. That's yeah, pretty good. 
Um, so it's ready to glue in. I turned the speed on the lathe down and I'm going to try to be very careful and just get it on that surface. Okay. Okay, so since my masking tape slipped yesterday off, I had to sand this little corner. But I am only going to put glue in those two spots. The rest of the ring will float. It is clamped down, and now I can just set that aside until tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the floating bottom glued in just at the two points, and now is the time to make sure it's perfectly flat because the next ring will overlap the floating ring by about a quarter of an inch or more, and I need it to be flush. I need it to glue to the wenge. So I'm going to, I put some white marks on here. I'm going to sand till they're gone, at least on the outside. I don't care about the inside because I'm going to be turning in there. Okay, so all the marks are gone. Uh, I've got a nice flat surface. I will clear the dust out of that clearance area before I glue it up. I am applying... Johnson paste wax uh, on the floating ring on the part, mainly on the part what I'm trying to do is just the part that is going to be touched by the ring above but I'll get a little more than that uh, which is okay um, the purpose of this paste wax is one to keep the glue from sticking if there was any squeeze out uh, and two is, um, we'll ultimately I'll be putting finish on this bottom, and if it tends to seep into the joint at all, the joint should be a tight joint, but if it seeps in a little bit, hopefully the wax keeps the glue from uh, gumming things up and uh, keeps the ring floating as it's intended. Now I'm spreading the glue and trying to get it everywhere on the wing gay, but not in the joint, not in the gap, or not on the floating ring. So I have the base ring here with the glue on it, and I have the next ring on in the Coles jaws. I'm going to bring it up, snug it up. Tighten down just to a little bit of a rub joint and tighten it up. 